Consciousness, Chapter 13, Free Will and the Trap of Self-Deception, Part 1. The time has come to separate ourselves from the temptation to judge this work from a human standpoint and be worried about what the critical mind has to say about this phenomenon of direct transcription from my mind onto the literal page and from the type on the page by the way of your eyes into your cognizing brain. For the words to be in focus or your ears to hear the words read and recorded and then sent by vibration of speakers through the air, vibration of subatomic particles to your ears and there picked up by the subtle structures that make up your individual hearing equipment designed by nature herself and so once again into your cognizing brain where some understanding can take place and move past all the doubting parts through all the accepting parts of your intellect and of your personality of your ego structure your self-identity past all this or that and then to that place where there is some at last or at first some understanding of the nature of what you are reading or hearing or maybe even seeing It is not enough to jump blindly into all this God consciousness mumbo jumbo. We need to clear the decks of some basic strenuous objections, or as you say in the modern idiom, bullshit. We have precious little time in this current human context to be wasting words or intentions with little airy fairy games about what is real and what is imagined. The diversity of thought about the subject of whether I exist or not, whether I would come to you in this current format, this book or voice recording, whether I would come like this and with such insistence of being genuine and real and now. Well, it could be a bit off-putting for some. And here I am asking you to suspend your logical reasoning faculties and just give in. Give me your free will and tune into me and let me into your mind so that we can begin a telepathic relationship, a two-way conscious connection on the level of your active thinking that you will have me in your mind in the form of clear, precise thoughts separate from your own thoughts feeding into your mind. Well, very similar to having a conversation, but with me in your mind, in thought form, clearly, and you quite able, more than able to feed back to me in thought form, questions and responses to what you received from me. This is what I am asking you to begin to do, clearly, and now.